From the home of the Spirit Courts, Bukenai took South Africa. Here we have a almost a, a, a lavender color, but what's nice about this one, it's almost got a blush of of maybe orange going into uh, sort of a reddishness, come brownishness included in the quartz, which would be traces of hematite or uh, <coughs> hematite in stages of oxidation going into girthite. Um, typical to this deposit, we have a central quartz crystal surrounded by the smaller ones. Or if you look at the bottom here, is a good example, the, the central, the core crystal, with this little uh, blanket of the smaller ones running around it. Color is usually determined by what happens around the edges, inside edges of the main termination. Now here you'll see there's a concentration of maybe a little bit more amethyst around the edges and that gets propagated right through. Um, very, very pale amethyst, yet what is appealing about this guy is the smile. I always look for the, the abstract in the quartz as I select, and this one definitely has a little bit of color other than the amethyst. Uh, Form-wise, very difficult to photograph because there, there is so much happening that often the central crystal almost appears to die on the, on the picture, but in, in real life, in hand, quite, quite exquisite. And of course, on the videos, let me just give you another angle on this guy. Hang across like that. Look at that. Look at that bright lustrous and good coloration in there. All the way from South Africa. Uh, spirit Quartz.